a massive score of 72 points. New Zealand. Since the British final, the leg has been playing up. One of the pins worked loose, so every race is an ordeal. And it was swiftly evident that his rivals weren't going to give him an easy passage. Carter in blue here in his first ride and survives a really tremendously hair-raising first corner. They all pile in together. Carter gets a knock, comes around the outside. You see Sean Moran just jumps into the front here in the red helmet colour. But Kenny peeling off into second place really knew at this stage that he had a battle on to qualify through from Bellevue, Manchester. Moran in front, but Carter hanging on for two points, and that's a useful start to his campaign. The old bulldog spirit came through in the second ride when he boldly got up from a long way back to challenge eventual second place rider Phil Crump. He's in the white helmet. Crump, uh, seeing Carter coming from nowhere, moves swiftly back inside, and it could well be the leg was making its effect there. Carter looked a bit uh, tentative as he came into his third ride. He is on the outside here in the yellow and black helmet color. Dave Jessup on the inside in red makes his customary fast start as they all bunch to the corner. It is Carter's courage and tenacity that shows again around the outside, finding the drive, moving up around the outside of Jessup as they hit the pit corner. Something like 80 mile an hour here. He loses his helmet colour, gets around the outside. Alan Graham comes through on the inside. He's in the lighter coloured helmet as well. Carter in front. Alan Graham in second place. Those two will go to Tavoyens, the Intercontinental Final. Only three Englishmen left. Simon Wiggis the third in an event won by Lance King and Kenny Carter yeah, heading the British Challenge, but okay. clearly still in trouble with that leg. It really is painful for him. Uh, this has definitely been the worst, you know, the worst round for me. I've had more pain today than I did at, even at Oxford when, you know, that was only four weeks after the accident. So I'm going to go back to the hospital um, tomorrow morning and, you know, see what's the problem because it's, you know, really giving me some pain today. And so the World Championship trail moves to Denmark to Voyens for the penultimate hurdle, the Intercontinental Final, and many feel this is the toughest of all. 11 out of 16 to qualify, England down to its last three representatives, including, of course, the brave Kenny Carter. The leg during the week has worsened, two pins have worked loose. It's clear he's going to have an uphill struggle to avoid being one of the five to fall by the wayside here in Denmark. Carter straight into the action in heat one. He's got some tough opposition here in heat one on the inside. Jan Anderson from Sweden in red. Next to him in blue, Larry Ross, New Zealand. Carter's in grid three, not a favoured grid in white. And on the outside, his fellow English qualifier, Alan Graham, in yellow and black. The start's going to be all important. 20,000 eyes turned towards Carter to see just how the leg is going to stand up here. And away this time, and up to the corner. It is Carter who shows. Carter in front. Ross is second. And Carter is all over the place and trying to hang on. And he does so. He's got Larry Ross after him and Anderson coming hard through as well. And Anderson's right on the back wheel of Carter. But Carter has survived the first lap. Leg looks very uncomfortable around these first two corners. He's settling down now. Moving up into third place. It's Alan Graham for England. Anderson breathing right down his exhaust pipe and Graham is coming up into contention as well and Carter knows that Anderson is there he's got to hang on for just one more lap around Boyens here it's 300 metres and now just two more bends to circumnavigate for three points and that's a really encouraging bold brave start for Carter he wins it second place Anderson third is Alan Graham Well, it would hardly be Voyens without a drop of rain, and there is just a, a fine drizzle beginning to sweep across this windswept Denmark Stadium as Carter comes out for his second ride in against three Anzacs. Billy Sanders from Australia, he'll be inside him in red. Mitch Shearer in blue from New Zealand and Phil Crump. So Carter on the outside will have to avoid getting bundled out. He hasn't made the start. Carter has been left at the start as they hit the corner. It is Carter coming around the outside, but in front it is Phil Crump in second place. It is Shearer, and oh, they're giving Carter a really rough ride. Their sand has bundled him in hard. And they're all beginning to bunch up here, going into lap number two. In front, it is Crump in second place, sweeping through there, Mitch Shearer into the lead. Third place is Sanders, and Carter, who missed the start, is at the back and not looking at all comfortable. Well, we knew that Kenny Carter could uh, expect few favours 
and it is ominous that he is being dropped and looking very, very uncomfortable. Into the last lap with Mitch Shearer in front. Carter is pulling out. Shearer leads it in second place. Is Crump in third place? It is Sanders. And England's hopes nosedive as Carter, out of contention, cruises back to the pits. Three points for Shearer. Two there for Crump, one for Sanders. And Carter now has a battle anew on his hands. Heat 17, Anderson on the inside has five points and really needs points here in Heat 17 to make sure of qualification. So everything to go for in Heat 17. Wig has been really England's brightest spark here in Denmark. Has given the English fans something to cheer about. He's on the outside, which hasn't been a very helpful gate here in Heat 17. Off we go. And up to the first corner, it's a scramble. And it's Wig who gets around the outside. Wig just about squeezes through as it tightens up Wig and Anderson together. Simon Wig in front for England. Anderson is second in third place. It is the rider in white, that's Mitch Shearer. And it's Gunderson at the back. And it is getting a little bit on the tight side now as Anderson forces his way past Wig down the inside. Good speedway. Anderson making sure of his qualification place, surely. And Wig in second place. Well, he is going to go through. Won't enjoy being caught like that. Tigerish display from the Swede. Into the last lap now. Can Simon Wig produce a party piece around the outside? He might just do that. He's round. And then level as they go into the bottom corner. Absolutely neck and neck. Who will level out in front? I think it's going to be Wiggy. Oh, what a fine piece of speedway. Simon Wig wins, Heat 17 in second place, Anderson. Back in third place, it was Shearer. But Wig really produced a party piece, and that takes him on to 12 points, and that uh, will probably be enough to get him into the frame. Heat 19, Carter's last ride. There is the lineup, and so much to be settled here. Carter on the inside has five points. If he finishes last, he can reckon his world championship dreams are well and truly shattered. Sean Moran next to him in the blue helmet colour needs a second place only to be assured of the intercontinental title. The rider to watch for is Hans Nielsen in white there digging potatoes in grid three. Now the Dane had two pointless rides early on. He's come back strongly with a second and a win. So he's on five points similar to Carter. And on the outside, Michael Blix from Sweden. I think we can safely uh, rule him out of contention here in Heat 19. There's a cluster of riders all around, five and six points. Here we go for the start of Heat 19. And up to the corner, Carter's been squeezed out. It is Nielsen and it is Moran. Carter's in third place. Nielsen goes clear. So Nielsen in front, Moran is second. Carter is in third place. Now this will be enough for Sean Moran. But will it be enough for Kenny Carter? Nilsson, too, can start to breathe more easily because this could take him up onto eight points and that surely would be enough to get him through. After another disastrous start, living dangerously, we can only get our slide rules out for Kenny Carter and Carter is in terrible trouble out of our picture. The boy really is suffering and your heart goes out to him. Into the last lap. Nilsson is going to win Heat 19 surely. Sean Moran has done enough to take the title. He's already doing the wheelings down the back straight. Carter must sweat. Nilsson wins. Second place Moran. Third place the brave Carter. Will it be enough? It's looking a bit shaky. Indeed, it was disappointment for Carter, who, with six points from his five rides, failed to qualify for the final in Gothenburg. He lost two in a runoff for the reserve position for the final to Britain's Alan Graham. So, Sean Moran, the Intercontinental Champion, with the ten other riders who qualified for the World Final, include only one Briton, Simon Wigg, who rides for Oxford. Apart from him, there are three Americans, three Danes, and one rider each from Sweden, Finland, Australia and New Zealand. After the event, Dave Lanning spoke to a...